If your teen is abusing drugs or alcohol, all hope is not lost yet. Here is a guide to help you deal with the situation and restructure your kid towards a better future. Welcome to our informative video series. We all know teens who are taking drugs may have trouble studying and focusing in school or establishing a long-lasting relationships. These kids may also have mood swings with irritability, anger, and changes in sleep patterns. Most times, it may be difficult to know exactly when kids start using or abusing drugs or alcohol. Here is our list of most common and visible changes to help you know when your kids start associating with drugs or alcohol. These includes changes in behavior, a change in grades, a change in how they dress, or sudden change in friends. These may be the primary clues to suggest the start of alcohol or drug abuse. Whenever you see these changes, we highly recommend talking with his or her teachers and friends to gather more information, because the earlier you notice these changes, the better. Like we said earlier, look for changes in everyday functionalities. Behavioral changes that are interfering with schoolwork, social activities, or behavior at home may be due to substance abuse. Serious warning signs may include suddenly getting bad grades or loss of interest in school activities, a rapid, unexplained change of friends, a lack of interest in appearance or clothing, evidence of lying, stealing, or spending money, but having nothing to show for it, sudden or unusual mood changes, especially depression, anger, and aggression, Physical signs of drug or alcohol dependence such as intoxication or hangovers. Maybe you're asking, what should you do if you think your child is using drugs or alcohol? Hey, it's simple. Stay calm and in total control of your own feelings. If you do find out that your teen is drinking or abusing drugs, let him or her know that this behavior is illegal and unsafe and that it must stop immediately. If the abuse doesn't stop, then it's time to think about getting professional help. Urgent screening tests should be the first step if you see these changes. Addiction is a huge psychological problem and also very detrimental. So talk with your child's healthcare provider about an evaluation and possibly doing a drug test. If your teen refuses the appointment, this may imply an admission of drug abuse. Parents can help their teens kick a drug habit or avoid it in the first place by addressing the situation directly. Don't make excuses or enable the drug use. Make it very clear that this behavior is not acceptable. Let the kid know the consequences of drug usage. Seek professional help right away. Drug and alcohol abuse are health problems. You can quickly begin family counseling to find out if there are any underlying problems. If you are thinking about counseling, your healthcare provider may be able to refer you to a counselor. It's important not to panic at the first suspicion of alcohol and drug use as this may bring division between you and your kid if you happens to be wrong. If your observation is wrong, and your teen isn't experimenting with drugs, apologize and provide encouragement and positive reinforcement. Show your kids that you respect their good judgment and attitude by rewarding them with more privileges and increased responsibilities. It's better to engage them in a mature discussion. Treat them as if they were adults with their own opinions. At the same time, reinforce that with adulthood comes the responsibility of health, safety, and appropriate behavior. That is our moral and parental responsibilities to care for our children. Remember, they are the future leaders of our nation. Like we always say, we love you, so love yourself by staying active and healthy. Good things can be harmful. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more amazing and informative videos. Peace and love.